is a beautiful day. Beautiful day, people. Loving it. Oh, so nice. Doing a uh, just a 10k, just nice and easy before I get back into my training. Right, straight into it. This video is going to be about trying to prevent injuries. Um, well, more like if you do get an injury, how you can kind of limit the damage it's going to do. And um, hopefully you can carry on through your training and just sort of keep that going and not miss out a week or even two weeks. Obviously, if it's a serious injury, you've got to go see a physio, osteopath, chiropractor, whoever. You know, I'm no, no expert on that or a doctor. But hey, um, from what I've learned um, over the last sort of three or four months of training, I've been training for an Ultra 100, as you know, if you've been watching my channel from October to January. During that time, I got seven kind of injuries, nothing too serious. I know seven sounds a lot, but a couple of them are historical and they, they flare up and others have just are new ones from certain things like stepping down badly or whatever, or just overuse and pushing myself to the limit because this training block definitely was pushing myself to the limit. So that's the plan, that's the video. So stay tuned, watch it to the end. And at the end, if you're interested, there's a little update on what I'm sort of about to get into as well. So let's get on to this video. Right, this is a little secret uh, pathway. Oh, so secret. <laughs> it's not the right route. Right, let's go find it. <laughs> That's better. It's not that secret because it's not uh, overgrown. In the summer, it's totally overgrown with bracken. But um, beautiful. Nice big house. Probably one of the biggest houses in Guildford. Lovely. Right. So historically, I get a problem just here. Um, in the inside of my knee, um, it flares up very, very tender. Sometimes if you flick it, it really, really hurts. Um, it's something to do with the medial joint and it's to do with the ligaments um, all wrapped around there, overuse. It flares up quite often. This training block hasn't been so bad. Um, what I try and do is I strengthen it because it's due to, could be due to the weak left glute and it's allowing my knee to collapse inwards. So I'm strengthening my glutes. I'm doing some good glute activation. Um, I'm also doing squats in the gym, quite heavy weights and just trying to get that glute going. And also just, just doing some massage with inside my leg here um, because that runs down all the way the muscle and attaches around here. So I've basically been taking care of that as well. Another one I suffered, which I don't normally get because I look after my feet really, really well. You've got to look after your feet, massage them, you know, really take best care of them. Is I got just over under the arch where there's a bit of soft tissue, got very, very sore and a nice little lump of, I don't know what it was, I don't know, no expert, but I had to massage that and you really felt it knotted. So I got in there with my ball, my take my ball out of my freezer and really roll my foot. I also then sit down, get a bit of massage oil and just give it a good old foot massage. Really important, look after your feet. <laughs> had this problem a few times uh, over the training, which is a bit weird, it's just underneath, again, all around my left, um, it's this part here of the calf. Um, the muscle's called the gastrocnemius, I think. <laughs> Great name. And uh, yeah, really, really sore. Um, I pulled it very, very slightly. Don't know when I did it. I think it's when I was sore. You get it from jumping up or, you know, very quick movements. So I definitely pulled that at one of my runs. So that was a real worry, but fortunately I sat down, worked it out, eased off a little bit on my um, workouts, and then gave it a good massage again. Um, I've got a massage gun, which is brilliant, and I just sit down for like 10, 15 minutes every night and do all my legs, but um, then I'll focus on that point. And when you're doing it, you can really feel the, you've got to be careful not to overdo it. Don't add, you know, salt to injury as such, <laughs> but you just take it nice and easy and it will go away. Just ease that spot out. So yeah, it's a new one for me, that calf, calf issue. I love this part of the, uh, one of my loops. It goes down to the bottom of the valley, nice and steep. It's great for hill repeats. So uh, the other issue I get, this is definitely something which I can never get rid of, but I've even gone to have an ultrasound on it to see if it was a hernia. Um, it's the oblique muscle here on the stomach, just about there. I get it definitely after sort of running for two to three hours. I've done ultras where it's gone away, it's come and then gone away, never come back again. So I'm not sure what it is, but it's one of those weaknesses I have. 
that there I have no real cure for. Um, I do my Pilates, I strengthen, really, really important to strengthen your muscles all the time. I have quite weak stomach muscles anyway, naturally. All my muscles are quite weak. Um, but yeah, so Pilates, you know, the general core workouts, things like that, just try and get that strengthening. I have found when I've been doing Pilates, it does help, but it doesn't necessarily go away. The best form to get rid of it really is just to stop running. But then, as you know, when you're training, you ain't got time to do that. beautiful isn't it my shorts t-shirt look at this got to be one of the best days so far this year it's lovely and warm as well especially when you've been out running right back to the injuries nearly all done <laughs> hopefully I haven't put anyone off ultra running that's for sure um groin so my right groin as well flares up sometimes it gets extremely tight almost so much that stepping you know swinging your leg out and getting out of a car really really hurts I generally get it after a very you know back-to-back -back long runs um, it might hurt on the Saturday night and then really hurt on the Sunday. It doesn't really stop me running, but the day after running, it's pretty uncomfortable. So what do I do about that? I get on the foam roller, put it on top of a table, um, and I can get a really good roll on the inside of my thigh. That's really, really good to have a go at that. Um, what else do I do? Um, I also have massaging, and that's really good as well. Get there and massage out and try and get it there. But it was to do with when I saw physio years ago, he had a go at my glute and also found a trigger point in my glute which released the kind of groin area. Um, so what I do as well, I get my trigger ball um, and get on that and give it a good old roll on that glute. It really hurts, I must say, especially if it's not, if the glute is in a bad state. But uh, have a good go at that. That definitely works. You've got to take the pain though. <laughs> so a new one to me, I got it when I uh, stepped down onto a really sort of long, deep step and I landed on my forefoot and it properly hurt inside my ankle, just about in there. And uh, I'm a little concerned about that. I'm not sure what it is. Um, I've sort of massaged it, things like that. I haven't really got an answer, but what I'm trying to do is strengthen it. Um, there's a few nice tips. One of them is when you're cleaning your teeth, close your eyes and stand on one leg. That really is good. Do that 10 seconds and 10 seconds. Hopefully clean your teeth for two minutes. So as the dentists say, so uh, that, that really strengthens. And the other thing is I've got one of those um, blow up cushioned wobble boards as well. I get on that and I balance and sort of do it for 30 seconds and build up to a minute and do that three times, repeat that. Definitely helps your ankles, but it hasn't helped this injury yet. So we'll see how we go with that because it's quite a new one still. And the last one, last but not least, is not running related at all, but it hurts when I run, is my elbow. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing an extension on my house, or trying to, I sort of stopped doing it over the winter, and uh, I get terrible tendonitis in my elbow and uh, from digging and things like that. But because of the arm action, you're holding and swinging your arm, you're keeping it in this position kind of locked for a long time, really hurts. And um, when I straighten it, that's very very sore and I've got to say that's pretty uncomfortable especially when you come up to like a, a aid station or you want to get your drink bottle out or anything like that and that has caused me quite a lot of grief what am I doing about that not digging really it's just trying to stop stop that sort of uh, effort <laughs> stunning eh beautiful well look that wraps up my video um, hopefully that helps you if you're trying to sort of work through some injuries. It's the worst place to be when you're running, especially if you have to take time off. It happens to us all, but just be very careful that you don't overdo it. Um, an injury you do, I mean, I'm one of the stubborn ones who run through injuries and um, generally it, it, it does sometimes ruin you and you have to stop for a week or so. This time though, I've been a bit more mature, I guess, a bit more sensible um, and just work through it, especially if they just start to happen. So. The more running you do, the better you get at handling. So hopefully that's helped. Um, just a little update on what I'm about to do. Um, obviously I've finished my 100 mile ultra, so that's gone really well. I'm now looking at uh, getting some speed stuff done. I've signed up for a marathon on April the 4th. It's called the Goodwood Marathon. It's around the race circuit there. That'd be really fun. It's gonna be a time trial. I'm not gonna look at doing my sub three then. Just not enough time. There's only about six weeks. I mean, what's the date now? It's the 20th of Feb. So there's gonna be no chance of getting, getting to that sort of level of fitness. But hey, gonna have a good old go. Anyway, 
If you've enjoyed it, please subscribe, leave your comments below, love it all. Make sure you like it, make sure you ring the bell, and I'll see you in the next video.